Hello again. I want to talk to you about the contrast of extension. It's basically extension in this case means how much of a color you have. And the law here states that a light bright color will balance out a dark dull one if you have a smaller amount of the light bright one and a larger percent of the dark dull one. Now this is a dark brown. I don't know how well it'll show up on the camera. I could pick a darker dull that's not that dark maybe. Maybe that would be easier for you all to see. Um, but it's basically a darker dull and this is a light bright. Now I could pick a lighter bright but if you get too bright sometimes it's hard to balance it out in this small little place. But let's pick something maybe like that. Okay? What it's basically stating is that if I have equal amounts of these two colors, this color tends to spatially rise and this one will spatially sink. If I even them out a little bit, the spatial relationships so that they feel like they're almost on the same plane, not rising or sinking, but just staying flat, I need to have less of the light bright, more of the dark dull. Now how much, I don't know, but what I could do is start with 50-50, for a moment and just feel, feel this color kind of rising towards my eyes and pay attention to the center seam. If you really look at that center seam, you'll notice, hmm, there does seem to be a little bit of a moment where this color rises towards me and this one drops down and away. All right, there's like a little crack there where it splits and you'll have to do this at home because it's hard to see these things unless you're watching them live and, and not on an actual screen, okay? Now what I wanna do is slowly slide this down slide this up and watch that edge become less tweaked and more balanced. Now it's starting to get better. Go a little bit more and I want to take my time. Now that feels pretty good for the moment. It's a little bit better, a little bit more even keeled. And now we go a little bit further with this law. If you imagine, just imagine for a minute, you have value and you have chroma. Okay? What I said was a value that's light and a chroma that's bright, oops, bright, you need a small amount of. A value that is dark and dull, you need a larger percentage of to create a sense of balance or equality, okay? And we're speaking, when we speak of balance here, we're talking about spatial balance. Spatial balance. So we take this notion of value, take this val chroma, and this is what we consider equal in this world when light and bright are together and dark and dull are together. But if we crisscross them and we have something like a dark, bright, all right? So if I take dark and bright, which would be something like that, that's a very dark but bright blue. Can you see it? Very dark, bright blue. And again, I might want to pick a little bit of a lighter color so you can see it, but I want it to be, rep be represented as a dark. I do not want a light color here. I want a very dark, bright, dark, bright, and I want a light dull. Now, my paper's cut a little bit, but that won't make a huge difference. I need a light and a dull. And this is kind of a clay color, which is very light and quite dull significantly lighter than this color. And I could probably look around and see if there's anything lighter or duller. No, I think this is pretty good. So now, in theory, instead of needing less and more of these, it borrows from each category a little bit of the category of a dark you need a lot of, a bright you need a little of, so they even each other out, right? Dark, bright, sorry. And then here you have a dull, which you need a lot of, right? And you have a light, which you need a little of. So in that case, they basically cancel each other out and you'd have closer to a balance when you have 50-50 of each of these. You see that? How they feel they're more unified? You don't need to have less or more of one or the other of these. They're basically closer to a 50-50 relationship. Now if you compare it to our last set and you make this set 50-50, right? and you make this set 50-50 in very similar proportions, and you will do all these things at home and record them. Make, make little maps of these things, do photographs like this. You can see how these two are kind of jumping off of one another. This one's way high, that one sinks away from you, this rises towards your eyes, this one drops away from your body and seems sort of like a, a pool or it has depth. Just feel it in your belly. 
and you'll get a sensation of it being like a deep pool of water and sunshine sort of glaring and reflecting off the water. Um, in this case, it feels more even, more soothing. It doesn't feel nearly as jarring. Now, when we say these words, light and dark, bright and dull, they're just words. You know that there's a range of light to dark. So this might be uh, lighter than this. I call them both light, but this is definitely lighter, right? This is light, but a little bit darker. This one is darker than this one, right? It's a little bit darker, not that much, but a little bit, it seems to be, to me. So when we say these words, they aren't exactly perfect. So this, in theory, would be 50-50, right? if it was a, an exact match of light to dark, bright to dull. But it's not always. And so if I look at the two of them, this feels to be rising a little bit to me. So I shrink it down and see if it feels better. I could enlarge this a little bit, see if that feels better. Mm, maybe. And now if I'm not sure, switch them. You know, make this smaller, make this bigger, and see, does that feel more balanced? No. That actually feels like this is sinking now. So you have to test yourself out. And if you're not sure, make more extreme situations occur till you start to feel, well, that's not balanced either. You know, this starts to, and you'd have to, again, look in life. This is starting to rise significantly. If you look at the edge here again, right between these two, it feels like this is coming up. The blue is coming up and the gray green is going back. You see that? Can you see that a little bit? It's hard to tell. And it may not be something that you feel comfortable immediately with. These are all things you have to experiment with. Color is extremely subjective. Color is very felt rather than thought. You have to kind of leave your brain on the outside and let your heart and your belly kind of speak to you. Um, but what we can feel, I think, significantly is when you have these 50-50 like this, you start to feel, yeah, there is a, a jarring quality to this and more of a harmonious quality to this. So in theory, you get the drift. Now, what I'm going to do is stack these all up for a moment, all four. Get rid of my intermediates, slivers. And now I know, in theory, in just theory, the orange is going to be the smallest, the brown is going to be the biggest, and these two will be closer to 50-50, right? I can leave them as closer to that. And so for the beginning of this experiment, this is just kind of a gross generalization of where I think I'm going. And now what I want to do is tweak every color, kind of look at the set. And what I feel is this is rising a little, so I'm going to shrink it a little. This is sinking a little, so I'm going to grow it a little bit and get it to be more balanced. There we go. Oh, maybe that's too much. This feels, the orange still feels like it's shooting up quite a bit, so I'm going to shrink it. And then I have my brown, which feels pretty good. I might have a little bit more, all right? Now that is what we call a traditional balance. That's more of a traditional, classic, traditional or classic balance, spatial balance in the contrast of extension. Now what we're going to do is mark these based on their size, just how big or how small they are. So this is the smallest and it'll be one, this is the second smallest, it is two, third, and fourth is the largest. What we're going to do is reverse the order. So we're going to go four will become one, two will become three. You know what I mean? So let's do that. Let's quickly take four down to there. Take oh, four down to there. One up to there. Two to three. And three to two. There we go. It should fit in that same block of space. It does pretty well. There we are. And this is what we consider not traditional, but contemporary. Contemporary, and I would say even a little bit funky, or sport would be good words to associate with it, and you can come up with your own words. But look at this. These colors are in the same order. They're the exact same colors, and they're significantly different. This feels much more vibrant and exciting, but it's still considered balanced. Now let's reverse it back again for a moment and see a classic traditional balance. And how's that? It feels more like a rugby stripe, something old fashioned or you get the drift. So do a couple of these and I'll come back and talk to you in a second about how you can analyze people you admire in this manner. Be well. Bye.